Of a highest 45 meter long Kiva minaret for G plant was built in 1908 by Master Khodaibergan Khoje. He has characteristic form for raw minaret in Kiva. It is sharply narrow at the top and doesn't have overhead land. Of the names of masters, the decorated minaret and the neighboring madrasa with tile patchwork are also known. The Akiva workers, both of Aisib and Master Madamina. Next to the highest minaret, you can see Blue Dome of Mausoleum Pahlavan Mahmud, the main sacred place in Kiva. Sufi poet of 13th, 14th centuries was canonized and afterwards considered to be the protector of Kiva. The construction of the mausoleum and the big Kiva cemetery around it continued the whole 19th century. Another high minaret is near the main cathedral mosque of Kiva. The mosque in Kiva is called the Museum of Wooden Columns. Artistic trade of craftsmen of columns flourished in Khorizm from the ancient times. In the architecture of antique, free Muslim Khorizm everywhere, there are wooden ivans supported by columns. It is one of the main motifs of the ancient Khorizm architecture. And the masters made columns the original work of art. In 1788, from the whole Kiva Khanet, a number of old columns was collected. New ones were also craved, and all of them were put in the main cathedral mosque for the support of the ceiling of the very broad Ivan the building. In total, there are 200 columns in this mosque. Almost all of them have ornamental crafting. Thus, on the columns of the 10th century, you can see the signs of the strict handwriting copy in a very deep crafting. On the columns of the 11th century, the crafting is flat and the handwriting is flourishing, less understandable as if ornamented Gothic script. And the columns of the 15th century carry dedicated signs of another Arab handwriting mess. And on the latest columns on the small flowery carvings of Kiva style can be seen. This is indeed original museum of columns, not in vain. All craftsmen from all over Uzbekistan come here to study.